Girls Inc. in Huntsville is dedicated to growing the next generation of female leaders and community changers. And this year they're celebrating a big anniversary. News 19's Kelly Smith has the details. Huntsville Mayor Tommy Battle declared 2022 the year of the girl and one Huntsville nonprofit that keeps the needs of girls center stage is celebrating a major milestone this year and that is Girls Inc. Stephanie Malone with the organization is here in the studio and could you just start off by explaining Girls Inc's mission and how they achieve that. Wonderful, so our mission is to inspire all girls to be strong, smart, and bold. And so we are celebrating our 50 year anniversary here of providing services to girls here in Madison County uh, and throughout North Alabama. Uh, one way that we do that is through our comprehensive Girls Inc experience and that is executed through our after school program and our nine week summer camp. And really anytime the girls are out of school, Girls Inc's doors are open and so you know our programming focus um, is centered on everything from STEM education, um, workforce development, and, and as well as soft skills as well. I was going to say those sound like amazing ways to provide and enhance skills that they'll need for the future. That's right. That's right. You know, we want to make sure that our girls are empowered, that they um, find their voice and that they're able to speak up and advocate for issues that are important to them and that affect them. And this year is so exciting. I know that you've already had a couple of events, but you have two more coming up. One of them is coming up next month, right? So we are having our alumni homecoming next month. And so we are asking all former Girls Inc. girls, former Girls Club members, former staff and former board members and our community partners to come out and celebrate with us on June 25th. We're going to have it at our Girls Inc. Main Center, which is located in the Richard Showers Recreation Center. Um, that event it will be held from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. and so we'll have a lot of activities um, for the girls. We'll have a lot of activities for our former girls. You know, Girls Inc. started out as a girls softball team and so we'll have softball games. We'll have oh, wow. sporting, you know, events and then we'll also have like STEM booths and things that are relevant to our program today and we'll have entertainment as well. Oh, that sounds so fun. And then your signature fundraiser, Invest in a Girl, is mm -hmm. coming up later this year in October. Yes, and so that event is our major fundraising event. We are very close to announcing who our speaker is. Um, so hopefully that announcement will come out in two weeks, but it will be held on October the 27th in the South Hall of the VBC. And so that is where we raise our money to support our scholarship programs. It supports all of our different program focus areas. Um, and all of that money goes directly back into the program um, to work with the girls that we serve. You know, we Prior to the pandemic, we were able to serve over 700 girls throughout Madison County, five to 18 years old. Things were a little different um, with the pandemic, but our doors never closed. You know, we saw the issues that our girls were having, mm -hmm. you know, just with academic learning loss. And so we were able to step in and try to fill the gap there. And then also the social emotional aspect yeah. of girls being isolated and then bringing them back together in small groups and now much larger groups. And so we have programming that address addresses all of that and so the money and the funds that we raise at our Invest in a Girl celebration will go to support those program initiatives. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you, Stephanie, for coming out today. And if you would like more information about Girls Inc., and that includes details about the organization and these upcoming events, head to our website, whnt.com.